Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Amster Hill. And this one is going to be on how to bake textures and shadows and materials and all that kind of stuff onto your objects so that you can then use it in the game engine. Now, um, to demonstrate this, we're going to need to set up a quick scene here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a side view, grab our cube and make it sort of float up in the air a bit. Um, then you want to go back to top view, press space, add mesh, plane and you want to press S20 just to scale it up so it's like a nice little floor. Um, we'll also add maybe something else like, I don't know, uh, what do we got here, monkey, that sounds good. Um, we'll scale up our monkey and we'll grab him out of the floor and put him there right next to the cube. Um, might also want to increase the lighting a bit so we'll just Shift D, duplicate light, put one over there, and another one over in this corner. Um, maybe move it up real high. That looks good. Okay, so um, none of these have any um, textures applied to them or anything like that. So um, to make this whole baking thing work, we first need to give everything a UV map and a UV texture. So to do that we need to split the screen up and when you change this one here to a UV image editor then what you want to do is you want to select the object press tab to go into edit mode make sure all the faces are selected and then press U to unwrap and you want to click unwrap smart projections um, that basically just does all the work for you. Um, then all you need to do is go down here, go image, and click new. And then just accept the defaults. Um, and voila, we have a texture applied to our thing. Now you can't see it. Um, to see it, you need to go into textured mode. And that shows you the UV thing on to it. It also um, shows you exactly what you'll see, or pretty much exactly what you'll see, in the game engine, which is um, pretty dull at the moment, really. Um, so we'll just do the same thing for the rest of these. So we'll grab our monkey, and we want to press U, unwrap smart projections. Okay. And then you want to give it image new. Okay. You don't want to give it the same one as the other one, or it'll end up screwing up at the end. And we'll do the same thing for our cube, just tab, press U, Smart Projections, OK. And then go in here and go, uh, Image, New, OK. So now that they all have um, UV textures on them, we can... Um, apply normal textures on that you'll actually see in a normal render um, this is just to to prove how cool this function is basically um, so we're going to give our monkey a texture add a new material to it and we're going to give it a texture as well uh, add a new texture we'll give it say noise that's good um, then for our cube we'll give it a texture as well um, we'll give this one say clouds and we'll go in here I'll go click color this is all colorful clouds and then we'll go to our plane add a material for that add a texture for it also um, and this texture will be say marble is there anything cool in here yeah, that looks pretty cool um, so now they all have textures applied to them but um, you can't see it in this textured mode and also, if you press P to start the game engine, you also can't see it in here either. You can't actually see anything in there because everything's black. Um, so to make it so that, um, if we render though, however, sorry, um, you can see that our textures have been applied, although some of them are pink because if a uh, texture is just black and white and it's applied to the color of an object, it uses the default pink color. Um, which I think is kind of a silly default color, but anyways. Um, so this render shows us what you would see in a render, which is some weird pink wave thing on the ground. Our 
multicolored cube and as you can see all the shadows on the ground and all the shading on our cube and stuff um so yeah so now what we'll do is we will make it so that you can see that in the game engine through that we need to select our objects that we want to make our want to bake sorry um and click render and you need to go bake render meshes and you want it to select full render now this takes a fair while so i'm just going to pause this video because otherwise it'll go forever okay so now that that's finished um we can see that uh down here the texture has the texture and the shading and all the shadows and stuff on it and you can also see it down here in our texture mode and if we were to press p to play you can also see it in here um we can also do it for these other objects here so we can give this a bake this cube by clicking render and render meshes full render and that'll take its time i'll just pause it again okay well that one's done as well and as you can see over here that is what the result of all the shading and texturing and all that stuff is and as we look around our cube we can see what it looks like um, as you can see uh, what I said about the the objects moving if this cube was you know part of the game and it was flying around and stuff you would have that cube shadow on the ground and you also have that chunk that the monkey took out of the shading um, out of that and it's sort of it's a bit out of whack so for um, like player objects and all that kind of stuff you probably want to bake their textures if you are going to bake them you want to bake them sort of on their own with sort of the right lighting and all that kind of stuff so, so it'll end up looking nice uh, we're also going to do our monkey as well so now it's finished um, as you can see over here it's been applied to our UV faces quite nicely and um, because the UV faces and stuff were scattered it looks all spazzy all over here but it looks perfectly good on our monkey and um it's quite a nice looking much better looking than you would get if you were to just put it straight into the game engine um so yeah so now if i was to press p to play you can see that all our objects have um all their textures and stuff applied to them and um so that's about it for this tutorial um if you liked it, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe so you know when my next tutorial is out. Um, I haven't made one in the last little bit because I've been sick and I have assignments due in the next couple weeks. So there probably won't be another one out for a couple weeks, but I'll try to get one in when I can. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.